He is his own weapon. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Lupin Ranger vs. Pet Ranger DX Lupin Magnum. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have the Lupin Magnum in its gun mode. Up here, we have it in its robot mode. We got the Lupin Rangers right here. Other side of the box, Lupin Magnum. On the other side of the box, Lupin Red and the Lupin Magnum. On the top of the box, the Lupin Magnum thing stuff stuff things and on the back of the box we have obligatory product shots things stuff stuff things on the bottom of the box we have a bunch of stuff that i cannot read inside pac-man and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have the Lupin Magnum, the latest weapon in the Lupin Rangers arsenal here and i quite dig this this is, this is a pretty fun toy so here it is in its gun mode and we're getting close here so we can take a look at the details you got the barrel of the gun there done in a nice silver you got the lupin ranger symbol done in silver you get some nice gold paint throughout the toy you get some silver up here some green that is peeking out of course the robot mode hands are just kind of hanging out there but okay it's all right it's all right but you get some nice molded detail throughout you get some more of that nice gold paint here on the handle as well as back here on the dial you get some metallic blue paint up here, your triggers right there. And on the other side, just more of the same. You got the battery compartment right here that has Sun Pac Man just molded on it forever. Um, so, yeah, the battery compartment is right here. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the speaker is actually like in inside here you'll see it better when we get to robot mode and again your triggers right there uh, there is no on off switch it's just a little little white pull tab that you pull out and once you pull that out it's just on if you want to turn it off you just put a little white tab back into it otherwise the batteries will drain but yeah i think it's pretty cool um size wise it's a you know nice size for a for a little pistol so i'm pleased with that and yeah and uh, just for a comparison uh, here it is with the VS Changer, just so you can get a sense of the size of the Lupin Magnum. So there you go. So now let's get down to the noises. So when we pull the trigger, we get a bang noise. Pew pew, bang bang. And you can rapid fire it if you want to. So that's pretty much it. There, it does do some more, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But we can use this with the VS Changer, and this is how we're going to get our big attack noises. Now, the rail is right up top, as you can see, so we will just insert it, and we get... Get some dancing music. And if you pull the trigger now, you get... That's all you get if you pull the trigger now. So, that's how that works. <laughs> but... We'll start over from the beginning and do it all proper like. So, insert. So now we turn the dial. Pull the trigger. And that's what you get with one turn of the dial. Now, if we turn it two times. So there you have two turns and now Three turns. An 
explosions and things happen because it's awesome. There you go. So, there you have that. And it's an interesting configuration there, just holding the gun like that. You can hold it like that if you want to, but on the show, I believe he holds it like that. So, yeah, that's definitely very interesting. Now, one thing to note, the VS Changer itself, when you pull the trigger on the VS Changer, it does nothing. Doesn't matter what position the handle is in either. Doesn't matter. The VS Changer does nothing. All the attack noises are coming from the Lupin Magnum itself. This is just here because reasons. <laughs> but the VS Changer itself does not activate any noises when the Lupin Magnum is plugged in. Now, there is a randomized noise that you get, and uh, I'll, I'll try to get it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it won't take too long, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. There you go. That's the randomized noise that you get. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. But... There you have that. And that's how it works with the VS Changer. That's kind of cool. So now let's get down to transformation into robot mode. And to start that, you want to take the dial and move it over to this side right here. You can see where this uh, marker is. It's not painted, but you want to move it over to this side. And when you do that, you get... And then pull the trigger. I, I figured I'd let the uh, noise just play out just so I can go through the transformation. But when you pull the trigger, as you can see, the legs just drop down on their own. And then we just come up to the arms, just bring it back, bring it down. Bring it back, bring it down, flip down this panel right here, and there you have the Lupin Magnum in its robot mode. So we're going to do that noise again, just do it all proper like. For some reason, the huh at the end just makes me laugh. I don't know why. It's like they couldn't figure out what to say after it. It's like, uh, I don't know, come up with something. Okay. Lupin Magnum. Huh. Okay, that'll work. Sure. Okay, I don't know. But there we have the Lupin Magnum in its robot mode. You know, it's it's kind of oddly shaped due to the fact that it has to actually transform and, you know, has to work in real life. Obviously, the suit on the show looks a lot better because it can cheat everything, but, you know, for what it is, it's not too bad. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Got nice gold, silver, and the eyes are painted blue. You got the green right up top. Right there on the chest is where the speaker is for all your noises. You get some more gold details and silver, as well as some more green. You get some more gold right here. Very nicely done. You get some silver going down the legs, as well as to green. There's also some more detail on the inside of the legs themselves. And his feet. And on the back, just got the, uh, <laughs> the trigger right back there. And if we pull the trigger, you get that noise. And that is pretty much it. And for comparison, here it is with Lupin Kaiser. Yes, you can see. Oh, he scales there with Lupin Kaiser. So, there you go. Now, one last thing you can do here with the Lupin Magnum is you can combine him with the blue and yellow dial fighters, just like it happened on the show. And to do that, it's just very simple. You just take the arms and just bring them back, we bring in blue, clips right in, bring in yellow, clip that in, and there you go. There you have Lupin Magnum 
with the blue and the yellow dial fighters. I believe they called this Lupin Magnum Superior, I believe, if I remember correctly. And hey, it works, you know, kind of bulks them out too, gives them some nice big bulky arms there. You know, you still have the articulation right there in the shoulders, the elbows, all of that good stuff. So, you got that going on. I actually forgot to talk about the, uh, the articulation for the Lupin Magnum itself in its robot mode. So, the shoulders can rotate, the arms can move up and down at the transformation hinge right here. Uh, the legs, they can move, but doesn't serve too much as far as posability goes. That's really just more for transformation than anything else. But yeah. So there you go. That is pretty much it there. So there you have the Lupin Magnum. Um, I like this. I really do. It's pretty fun. Um, I do like the design of the robot mode. I mean, it looks a lot better on the show, but I do like the design of the robot mode. I like how it works with the VS Changer. So yeah, it definitely has its play value. I dig it. So there you go. Now I picked this up from a CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link to Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of that pricing. You can also get Super Sentai toys from BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Lupin Ranger versus Pat Ranger DX Lupin Magnum. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Home in your face. So, you are working with those thieves? You know what that makes you? A thief! Yes, yes, and I am superior to you in every way. Oh, really? And what makes you say... What the... I, seriously, I was looking right at you! How do they keep doing this? <laughs>